Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your man, Force of Power Lifestyle Coach Mike. And uh, what I want to do today, I stand back here. I got two cameras rolling. So one is for uh, video and the other one is for live. And so what I want to do today is um, kind of talk a little bit about uh, a stick. <laughs> a stick for self-defense. Um, a stick is something that you can always find on the ground. Um, in the Nation of Islam, we don't believe in carrying weapons. Uh, we don't carry as much as a pen, knife, a pen knife. We don't, you know, carry guns. We don't carry anything. But it's not to say that we can't use something that we may have on our person as a weapon. Or if we find a stick on the ground that we can use it to, defect, uh, uh, to defend or deflect things, or, you know, for self-defense. Um, and so one of the things that I always loved about martial arts, the way I train, is that when we did learn weapons, I learned how to use a sword, um, I learned how to use nunchakus, I learned how to use uh, the bow staff, I learned how to use tonfus, I learned how to use saisandans, uh, ninja stars, but none of that stuff really, I mean, all that stuff was cool, you know what I mean? Um, but really, none of that stuff, uh, to me, was very practical. Like, I'm not going to walk around the street with a sword sticking out the back of my jacket. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And I'm not going to, uh, you know, wield a sword. You know what I'm saying? Nor am I going to carry, like, Bruce Lee some nunchucks in my back. I, I mean, I remember when I first started, I did. I carried nunchucks around, but I'm not going to be carrying no nunchucks around. And, you know, and it's just like, you know, we don't, we don't, you know, again, carry weapons, but, like, I didn't carry Sai Sandans around, right? Now, if you don't know what a Sai, a sai is, if you remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael, he had that silver, like, it was like a, about maybe a foot and a half long, and it was like a, a thin spine of a, a, of a sword here, and then it would kind of go out like a fork, right? And so the Filipino farmers would use these tools, Okinawa farmers w would use these tools to, you know, to um, use on their farm. And so this particular tool, they, they would bale hay, you know, get bales of hay, stick the hay in and lift it. And so when the samurais would, would, would start war with them, they would use their tools to use, you know, use as a self-defense. So when I started to, to practice, whoop, when I started to practice with this, the stick, I said, this is way more practical because I can break a stick. In, I, I can break a broomstick in half or find a stick on the ground that's about this, this length. This is, a, this is like a half inch dowel. You know, um, there are Kali sticks that come much th thinner than this. Uh, this is kind of thick, some of the other thicker ones. Let me tell you, these things hurt. So when I walk my dog, I carry this. Sometimes, sometimes, I gotta be honest, when I do walk my dog, I carry, uh, I have a, I do have some, 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 I have a side, right? I have two of them. Sometimes when I walk my dog, I carry that. Reason being, sometimes there's stray dogs around. And I don't wanna take a chance, like the other day I was riding home and I saw two pit bulls run, just running down the street. I'm like, yo, so that's why I carry something because this can hurt right and it will hurt like it will it it stings badly but i don't know if if it'll penetrate well enough to hit a to, to hurt a dog you know like a stray dog you know trying to attack my dog so i gotta have something sharp so um when i walk on my dog i do you know sometimes not all the time i have that but most of the time because this is at the door i'll i'll just grab this and pick it up and walk with it okay so self-defense wise this is something good to to practice uh for self-defense um, again, this is a very practical thing. All right, you can put this by your door, like I have it by my door. As I walk out, I grab it and I go and walk my dog and, and keep it moving. But it's a very practical thing. So what I want to show you today is um, some angles that we use to execute the strike. So this is called uh, a screamer, and it's a great, a great fighting style. Now, you, now a lot of uh, of this Filipino art is done with a knife. Okay. Um, but you can also do open hand once you learn the strikes and the movements, okay? So, these are about, about, two, about a foot and a half to two feet maybe in, in, in length. And they're very easy to, 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 uh, to wield, very easy. 
Again, there are some of them that come lighter. I'm about to order me some more, a couple more that, that are lighter. But this is a very good, very good practical tool, okay, to use. And trust me, when you know how to use this properly, all it takes is, is a couple of hit strikes and man, <laughs> Somebody will, you know, be running for their life to try to get away because you got this stick, okay? All right, so here we go. Now, a couple of things that we do, which are basic strikes, okay? So the first strike, they're called angles. So we go one through 12. So the first angle is a one. So most, the first four angles are like slashing. So the first angle is you start here, you come down, one, okay? So it's a slash, one, all right? Now, most importantly, my footwork. So you're gonna notice my footwork going back and forth. Back and back and back. So from here, I go one, two angle, come back up here, two. So I'm making an X, okay? Now I see, I see a fly that, I'm, that I wanna crack across the head. Um, so if you see me doing any random swings, you know I'm trying to hit this fly, all right? So here we go, so, so angle one, one, Come back across, two. Okay, again, one, two, one, two. If you notice my footwork, I'm using my footwork, two, okay? One, hit the two, one, two, one, two. See, I'm making an X, one, and coming across, two. It's a slash, okay? One, and two. Now, the third strike, is a horizontal strike. So let's go one, two, three, horizontal. And then four, four, back across, okay? So one and two, diagonal slashes. Three and four, horizontal cuts or strikes, okay? So again, one, two, three, four, okay? Five, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. Five is uh, like a stab, okay? So I'm using the front end of the stick, boom, stab, okay? All right, so it's coming up. Imagine someone's gut or chin, boom, okay? All right, someone's gut or chin. So one, two, three, four, five, right there, okay? Five. Now six at the five, Right? Another stab, six, six. So it comes up five, six. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now my footwork stays here. Five, six. Okay? All right, so stab here to the midsection, stab here to the midsection, and then stab here, maybe into, at, at the throat or right towards the face. Boom, up. Boom, okay? Now, seven. So after six, boom. Then there's seven. Boom, okay? So I, I, now from here, I change my footwork. So six, and then I switch my footwork, reverse, seven, boom, okay? Again, leading with the front part of the dial. Boom, seven, okay? So it looks like this from the side, boom. So let's start off from the beginning. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See that? Seven comes here, okay? Now eight, from, from seven, here's eight, eight. Eight comes kind of across the body, okay? Boom. It can almost be a block or a strike, okay? So it's a block, boom. So I can step out, boom as a block or strike, boom, okay? I can come up, the strike, I can come up, hit the groin, okay? I can hit the kneecap, boom. But it's a block or it could be a strike, okay? So let's start from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Now nine is a reverse, move from eight. So here's eight and then here's nine, okay? Eight and then nine, okay? Again, eight and then nine. So nine is here, almost like a block as well. So let's just say someone is trying to, you know, throw a, 
throw a, a, a midsection kick. Here's from eight, boom, see? I'm sidestepping, boom, out of the way. There's that strike for nine, okay? So eight, nine, okay? Eight, nine. I'm getting off of that center line. Eight, nine, okay? Nine is here. Start from the beginning, then we'll go right into, into 10. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now 10 is a stab again. From this angle, from this position, 10, okay? So nine comes up, 10 stabs. That's the strike right here, 10, okay? So nine comes up and then 10 stabs, all right? Then we go right to 11. Let's start from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now eleven is a is, is a higher stat. Eleven. See, six and eleven look, look the same, right? Six is here. Six comes kind of comes more in, in this area. Eleven comes on top. Okay? So six is here stat. 11 is here, okay? From 11, so from 10 here comes 11. Boom, last one is 12, 12. Or we can just go like this. 12, puño, this is, this, is, this, is, this part of the stick is called puño. So we're gonna hit, boom. So imagine taking this end butt here and just pop, okay? In the jaw, right down the midsection of the nose, in the solar plex, Boom, okay, boom. So start from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, twelve. Sometimes they go like this, boom, twelve. They'll go boom, all right? They'll turn, boom, and drop that hammer down, power drive it down, okay? So those are the five, five, twelve different strikes that we do. And it's good to practice them. One, okay? Just one, two. One, two. One, two. Just going over and over those strikes. Getting the footwork down. Footwork is key. I'm gonna take off these slippers. Move better without them. One, two. One, two, three, four. So it's three, four. And then that five. Then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, those are some basic drills that you can do. Grab a stick, <laughs> and it's something basic, guys. I mean, what if you have to grab a stick to protect yourself? I know most people are just gonna do this. You don't wanna do that, because <laughs> you can get, you're very vulnerable. But if you know how to hold your hands, right, and you got a stick in your hand, and then you know how to, you know, parry, you know, you know how to throw those strikes, boom, boom. Now, there's something that you can do to practice, um, my phone's about to die. Oh no. Oh no, cancel, here we go. Okay, hold on for a second guys. Phone's ready to die here. All right, so there's something that you can do that we do as a drill, it's called Heaven Six. So now we got two sticks, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a two stick drill that we do, it's called having six. Now it's good to do this with a partner as well, but you can also do it by yourself, just trying to get the hang of, you know, just trying, trying to get the flow down. So having six is a six angle movement up high. So you use two sticks, okay? So if one stick is bad enough, imagine if I got two sticks on you, now it's really bad. As you can see, this stick is beat up. This stick is, look at it. It's all beat, I got, got this stuff, <laughs> got the tread coming out of it, had to put tape around it because the reason why the stick is like that is because I, I would use this with, with a partner years ago and we would do heaven six together. Pop, 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 pop. So heaven six starts like this. You start with one um, stick down here below, like by your waist, one stick up here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go for the angles. One, angle one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
It's a six movement pattern from the top, okay? One, two, three, four, six. So it's one, again, angle one, one, two. When the angle one comes back, I'm sorry, when angle one is finished, you come here, boom, half two, back here, back here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is what I do to kind of help keep that flow down, okay? And to help increase um, my timing with my sticks. So this is something good to practice. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then when you flow with it, you can go faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So your footwork can go with it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when a partner, okay, you're flowing with it, boom, 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 and you're moving with the partner. I'm trying to imagine me with a partner so I can get that feel, okay? So I'm trying to imagine that contact. So pretty much everything is always right in front. The contact is in front, okay? The contact is always in front. One, two, three. So every time I strike, he's striking. And my partner is doing the exact same type of heaven six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. 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 See? That six always comes out. Now, earth six is the same thing. It's just down to the floor. Okay? It's just one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I'm, I'm chopping up someone's ankles. Boom, 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 boom. So I can go down and then up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then down. And then up. And down. And then up. And then down. And then up. And then down. And then up. Okay? Always comes back here. Always comes back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, so it starts here. Then you do it again. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I back here. Okay? All right? So those are just some basic things that you can do to... <laughs> I know you're not a martial artist for most of you. Oh, my phone fell. <clears throat> See? I knocked the phone out. <laughs> knocked the phone out. Um, so those are some basic things that you can do to practice with your sticks. Again, the angles are very, very, very good to practice with, okay? The angles are very good to practice with. Again, you start off with angle one, one, okay? Then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, then eight, then nine, then 10, then 11, then 12. Okay, those are 12 angles. Practice those angles, get a stick about this length, not too, it's, it's not too long. Looks about the length of, almost the length. Okay, my arms are kind of long. So, if you have short arms, then, then your stick is gonna be longer than your arm. But it's about the length of my arm, which is about almost, maybe, goes up to about, about my wrist, or maybe two feet long, okay? About two feet long. All right, get a stick like that, about two feet long. And then practice, practice wielding the stick, okay? Very fun, very fun tool to use. Um, and then you can get, I mean, there's so many different things that, that, that you can do. There are different types of um, strikes. Again, different angles. Um, if I was, if I, if I did, let's say this was a knife, this, this, this screwdriver, okay? So I, I, I would have a knife in one hand and a stick. Now the stick can be used as a block, and then I could block here, or let's say 
this was the stick. Block, stab, okay? Parry, stab, see? Block, stab, stab. But I don't, you know, we wouldn't. But the thing is, if somebody did attack you with a knife and you took it from them, again, we don't carry knives. But if someone did have a knife and I was able to take the knife from them, then I could use it on them. Okay, I wouldn't throw it away and say, I don't use weapons. I would take someone's knife and say, I'm not using that weapon on you. No, if they, if they had, if they had taught me with a weapon and I was able to get it from them, I would use it on them. But I wouldn't carry it. But if they had it and I got it, I would use it. See the difference? So, um, but you always probably find a stick, okay? And I mean, this thing, this thing is, this thing whips. It whips. It whips. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. It whips. It, it really does whip. So, so these stripes, you can hit the ankles. Pow, okay? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, one, two. These strikes are very, very powerful. Okay, so one hit across the jaw. Pow. One hit across the jaw. Either side. Boom, boom. One hit in the arm. Boom, boom. One hit in the waist. Pop, pop. One hit in, in, in the thigh. Okay? One hit in the thigh. Very, very, very painful strikes. Okay? Very painful. And all it takes is one hit to redirect someone's attention or to distract them. One hit, bow, 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 bow. And then you can go in, in, into whatever else you want to do. But one hit is all it takes because that will, this one strike will, sh will rock someone's whole world. Whatever they were thinking, they're, they're not thinking anymore. Because this stick, when used properly and, and wield it properly, this will put, this will strike fear in someone's mind when, once it hits their flesh. This stick on flesh, it's no joke. And guess what, you don't really need to put a whole lot of mm into it. Just, just a little pop, just a little pop, or just a little thrust, okay? A little thrust here, a little thrust here, okay? Just a little bit, just a little bit, okay? I mean, I can even Michael Jackson on, <laughs> Michael Jackson on him, you know what I'm saying? Just back it up on him, you know what I mean? So either way, <laughs> either way, but this stick is great. It's good practice, good handwork, okay? You can also, again, use it as a block, all right? Block here, come back here, backhand strike, back here, backhand strike, strap, stab, backhand strike, strap, overhand stab, number seven, come down, back up top, come up, come up, cross horizontal strikes here. I mean, there's so many things that you can do, okay? You can... Uh, with this, you can take weapons out of people's hands. It's just it's a lot that you can do. So I'm still a student in this. I'm learning even more. But this, is, this was one of my favorite uh, weapons that I started off with in martial arts. Um, and I just kind of, you know, gravitated to this stick. Because it's like, it's just, it's, it's a stick. You know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a stick. When people see me walking with this stick in the street, they think I'm walking, it's walking for my dog. Like, now I'm not walking for her. I'm walking it for you. <laughs> I'm holding this stick for you <laughs> or for any other dog. You know what I'm saying? Not for my dog. My dog is cool. You know, my Roddy, she's, she's whatever. But I'm, I'm holding this stick for you and you and you. Like, like, like Biggie, this goes out to you and you and you and you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, that's what this is for, guys. And so you can, you can practice, get a stick. Order stick. There's some things on YouTube that you can use a uh, practice. Go over some different strikes, things like that, and uh, have some fun with it. But it's good to know how to wield one of these things because it can do a lot of damage. Woo, I mean, I'm just thinking about all, all the areas that you can strike: the back of the head, the side of the neck. I mean, you can break someone's like like you can bust someone's vessels up. Like you can wow, just I mean, literally you can damage nerves with this stick. It's so, it's so deadly. This stick is so deadly when you know how to strike and aim and poke someone's eye out, put, you know, break someone's nose with it, just with the uh, puño here, boom. So many things that you can do with this stick. Um, it's amazing. So it's a great and inconspicuous tool. I call it a tool, not a weapon. It's a tool, okay? It's a tool. 
All right, take care, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace.